Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can highlight a specific data point in a line chart dynamically. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful line chart and here I have highlighted this maximum data point in this month wise sales. So here you can see this September 4824 is highlighted that means September sale is the maximum sale in entire year all right if you want to highlight the minimum data point then you can select minimum then that particular month will be highlighted like this if you want to highlight some specific data point then you can select selected here in this drop down and then you need to click in this table anywhere whatever you want to highlight for example, I want to highlight the April month. So just click in April, then that particular data point will be highlighted. If you will click on sales also, then still it will be highlighted like this. You can click anywhere that particular month with data points will be highlighted. All right. So we will learn in this video how we can create this functionality in the line chart. So let's start. I'm going to copy this data because I will use this data add a new worksheet here. I will paste this data here. This is simple data validation list and these are simple numbers. So I'll go to the view and remove the grid lines. Before creating this chart, I need a support column here. So I'll take a support column which is highlight and I need three more support column. First, I will take maximum, then minimum, and then select it okay in the maximum we will put the formula if max v4 to v15 and press f4 to freeze this close the bracket is equal to this value which is v4 then it will return v4 otherwise it will return an a and just close this bracket so we will put the similar formula here in minimum also if and then I'll put the formula as min and then range will be again V4 to V15 and press F4 and just close this bracket is equal to this V4 then it will return V4 otherwise it will return an A and just close this bracket. Now in the selected I'll put the formula if and then i will put here two condition that's why using and and the first condition will be cell first of all i'll check the row so my active cell row should be equal to this row wherein i am putting the formula all right and the second logic will be again i'll take cell and this time i'll take call which will return the active cell column it should be less than 3 because I always want to show the selected value when my column is 1 or 2 which is A or B right so I'm taking here less than 3 all right so I have put both the logic now just close this break it then it will return the value of this cell which is v4 otherwise it will return na now closes this bracket now we have all three formulas here just select and fill down till the end so we will put the formula on highlight later on for the time being i'm just putting the formula as equal to same now i'll select these three columns from month sales and highlight then go to the insert and I'll go to the line chart and I'll take this line chart line with marker. Now I'll go to the chart tools design here in chart style. I'll take this style style nine. Now here first of all, I would like to remove the legend from here. So just click on this chart element and remove the legend from here. And I'll go to the grid lines. I would like to add the primary minor horizontal and primary minor vertical lines also. So our chart will look like this. Now right click on any line, go to the format data series. 
and here I'll go to the fill and line option. First of all, I'll choose for this line, I'll choose no line. I have selected the orange line, so I have taken no line and I'll go to the markers, marker option. I'll choose the marker as built in. And here I'll take the marker type this one circle and size I'll take 20. All right, now I'll go to the fill of this marker and I'll fill this solid color. And here I will take this color, which is gold accent 4. Now I'll go to the border. So I'll take the solid line here and the line color, I'll choose the white color, white background one. The width of the line, I'll take 5 points. So I'll type here 5 and then I'll go to the compound type. Here in compound type, I'll choose this compound type, which is thin thick. All right, friends. Now I will select this second series, which is the uh, this blue line. Just click here on this blue line. This line is for sales. You can see here. First of all, go to the extreme bottom and select smoothed line. And the width of this line, I'll take around 2.5. And here, and arrow type, I'll choose this arrow type. And arrow size, I'll take the maximum, which is arrow R size 9, this one. So our chart will look like this now. Now I will click on these points, right click and add data label here. So you can see data label has been added. Now click on the data label right click go to the format data label here i will remove this so letter lines first of all click on category name just check this so we will take category name and value both now here the label position i'll take above now i'll go to the format and here in shape style i'll choose this style click on this now go to the home, make it bold. Now again, I'll go to the format and shape effects. And here in shape effects, I'll give some glow. I'll give this glow. I'll select these markers. And again, I'll go to the shape effects. And we'll give some glow here also, the same glow color. So our chart will look like this. All right, friends. Now here, I will put, I will remove this highlight formula and value, then only this line will be appeared. We can change the color of this horizontal and vertical axis also. We will take the white color here and make this bold. Similarly, in the month name which is on horizontal axis, make this bold and the white color. So I will put the formula here on the highlight column. The formula will be if this value is equal to maximum then it will give the value of d4 and if this value is equal to minimum then it will return the value of e4 and again if this value is equal to selected then it will return the value of selected which is on f4 and the else condition the value of v1 is not maximum minimum or selected then it will always return an a and just close this bracket now fill the same formula till the end we have not freezed this v1 let me freeze this and again fill this formula down now you can see the maximum value is highlighted if I will select minimum, the minimum value is highlighted. If I will select selected, then nothing is highlighted. When I will click here, then still it is not highlighted because this cell formula need to be calculated. So if I will go to the formula and click on calculate now, then it will highlight this. If I will click anywhere, then still it is showing the April. Again, if I will click on calculate now, then it will show me the next month to get the rid of this manual click on calculate now we can go to the developer tab and visual basic and here we are working on sheet 2 double click on this select the worksheet here and selection change is already there 
Now here put a small line of code that is active seat dot calculate. That's it. Now if you will click anywhere, it will change automatically. All right. We have taken four support columns here. So if you want to get the rid of these three support columns, then you can simply copy this formula which is available on D4. Then go to the highlight. D4 is available here. Just delete this D4 and paste that formula and press enter. We don't need this D column. You can delete this. Similarly, select this formula except equal to sign. Then go to the highlight column and it is on E4. So just go to the E4. E4 is here and just delete this E4 and paste that formula and press enter. Now we don't need this column also. Similarly, we can copy this formula also, which is on F4. Then go to the highlight and select the F4, delete F4 and paste this formula here and press enter. Now we can fill down this formula. Okay, now we can remove this selected column. So, so we have only one supported column now you can see it is working if i'm click anywhere it is giving me the result maximum minimum and selected also all right friends so that's how you can create this beautiful chart i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching